Hey guys, <laughs> I'm back, and here I am playing Diablo. So my buddy Glenn came to me and more or less told me, hey man, you should try it out, they got a new season, uh, check it out. They got new build options for Wish Doctors, so he got me into it, helped me get a lot of gear, so thanks a lot to you Glenn for helping me out, and I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for Glenn helping me out, uh, so I greatly appreciate it. And um, I had my old computer, and now I have a new computer, but my old computer was giving me lots of problems, guys, and making videos and trying to stream and stuff was just not working out. Um, so I did take a break for quite some time, and I apologize for that. But here I am, I'm back, and I'm excited. I'm going to be going over all kinds of builds, guys, over the next couple of weeks, so please stick with me. So on my left click, guys, I'm using Corp Spiders, Blading Spiders. This skill right here is actually pretty good. With the new set that I'm going to be talking about, the spiders get a damage rush from the set. And it's going to be an 800% damage increase for any of the skills that are on this set. So, of course, spiders is going to be one of them. So, this skill right here will actually pro uh, proc your focus and restraint, or at least one half of it. And then, on top of that, every spider that does damage gives you three mana return per hit. So, that's actually really good. This skill will just basically overall make the build a lot more enjoyable. So, I'm a right click, guys. I'm using piranhas with wave of mutilation. I've tried using the piranado, and it wasn't bad, but. Um, I honestly just prefer the wave of mutilation. It's a little more spammable, and again, the set bonus actually applies to the piranhas, uh, piranhas as well. So you're going to be getting that 800% damage increase with this, and it's going to be a little more damage spam. So my one key, guys, I'm using Spirit Walk with Jaunt. This is just an awesome ability. Three seconds of immunity is always good, and a little bit increased movement speed that's unhindered. Um, I really like this ability. You can switch it to whatever you need, if you need healing, if you need mana. Obviously, as before, you can pick whichever run goes well for you there. On my two key guys, I'm using uh, Soul Harvest, Soul to Waste. This ability here is not bad as well. It's going to increase your total intelligence, it's going to give you increased movement speed, and it's going to give you a little more damage because of the intelligence boost, all, as well as some all resist, so it's not bad at all for this build. On my three key guys, I'm using Locust Storm Pestilence. This build is awesome with this ability. The Locust Storm is also getting the 800% damage increase, and Pestilence is just fantastic with this since it spreads like crazy really fast all over the screen. I'll be showing you that here in a second. And then on my four key guys, I'm using Hex Angry Chicken. Now this ability is okay by itself, but with the new Manajumas, it's fantastic. It gets a huge damage boost, and it lasts for a lot longer, and gives you crazy movement speed, which I'll be showing, showing you here in a second. So, for passives guys, I'm using Confidence Ritual. It says you deal 25% additional damage to enemies within 20 yards. This is a new passive for the Witch Doctors, and um, it's fantastic for this build since you're going to be running right up on enemies anyway. So my next passive is going to be Creeping Death, and it says your Haunt Locust Swarm and the damage amplifications from Piranhas last almost forever. This is fantastic with this build because you're going to be running Locust Swarm, and Locust Swarm is going to be dotting everything up and lasting forever, as well as Piranhas lasting as well. Swamp Land Attunement is also revamped. This ability is freaking awesome, man. If you have a Witch Doctor, you're primarily going to be running this passive probably most of the time, especially if you're doing solo Greater Rifts. It says you and your pets gain 120 physical poison, fire, cold resistance for every enemy within 20 yards. And it says the range of this effect is increased by your golden pickup radius. So the more pickup radius you have, the better this skill is, and you just become really durable. Do take note, however, that lightning and arcane are not in that category. So... You know, if you're trying to run high and greater rifts, not that it pertains to this video, but if you're trying to run that, try to look for high secondary resist and lightning or arcane and uh, use this ability here, and you're good to go, man. And for the last passive, guys, Grave Injustice. This uh, passive is, I, in my opinion, a must-have in almost all Witch Doctor builds. The This is just awesome. <laughs> it gives you health, mana, and cooldowns every time you kill an enemy, and it works really well with this setup. So with that being said, let's go into the gear, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the uh, really annoying stuff to get. So if you can, get a Hellfire Amulet with either percent poison damage if you're running this build and or any other percent damage you need based on the build that you're running. Uh, with crit chance, critical hit damage, open socket. And if you can, try to get a passive that is going to be very beneficial to you you know, for the builds you're running. So I luckily, I rolled this like in my third try of starting the new season, and I've never had one this fantastic, honestly. Um, but I actually got gained the Pierce, Pierce Lavelle passive, and that is super cool. So on top of all these passes right here, I'm actually getting Pierce Lavelle, which is all of your damage is increased by 20%, but your mana costs are increased by 30%. I'm not going to complain. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Some people might say, ooh, 93% critical hit damage. Not good enough, but whatever. Uh, it's good enough for me. So, uh, the new set is going to be called the Arachai's Visage, or the Arachai's, I should say. So, the Visage is going to be the helmet. On this, I just went for the Int Vite, 
crit chance, open socket. If you can get pickup radius on that, that's fantastic. And if you can make the secondary actually roll into lightning or arcane, not that you would need it, um, it'd be probably the more perfect helm that you'd be looking for. Don't really need any percent damage uh, rolls on that since there's nothing that really benefits the set. For the shoulders, guys, I have basically invite, all resist with locust swarm damage and again pick up radius on this. So I'm going to be trying to pump my locust swarm damage as much as possible since the locust swarm actually does pretty decent damage with this setup. I feel like this build could possibly, or this set could possibly have a little more damage increase to it and the toads are really annoying as I'll be showing you here in a second. Um, but it has been confirmed that the toads are going to be fixed within the next patch. So for the gloves guys I went crit chance, crit damage, fight, intelligence. You could go cooldown here if you can get them. Um, not going to say that's you know, not worth getting. It might be worth getting. It just, again, it all varies into what you're trying to do. So for the chest guys, I have Ant Bite, Locust Swarm with the three sockets. And obviously, if you can, try to get the pickup radius on the secondary. And then for the bracers, guys, I'm using the strong arm bracers. Again, here you can run anything that you would like if you're speed farming. For Death Press, you could run the Nemesis bracers. Um, honestly, I just, I'm a freaking sap for damage. <laughs> I love to pump damage as high as possible. So for this build, guys, I'm actually using the Hwajrap. If you can get an 80%, that's fantastic. Any percent slow will work. And I went super defensive with this one, and it has pickup radius, so invite, all resist. Uh, my bad, invite, percent life with armor. And uh, it's ancient, so that's fantastic. Obviously, you can get ancient anywhere. Please do it. So I'm using the focus and the restraint. Got some pretty decent rolls on those. Could be better, but I'm not complaining, especially starting off in the season. I've only been playing the season for like three or four weeks now, and I'm doing pretty good. Paragon 656, and uh, that's with working and everything else. So not bad, not bad. So I have the legs, and on this one, I have Plague of Toads damage uh, currently because I was messing around with a Plague of Toads build since this build actually does boost the damage of Plague of Toads. But uh, ideally, you would want, obviously, um, all resist and or armor there. So here's the weapon. I have an Ancient Managemus Carving Knife and an Ancient Managemus Gory Fetch. If you can get Ancient on either one of those or, and or both, obviously please do and try to make them as good as possible. This one is not fantastic, but it'll do. It's good enough for now. Um, obviously put the green critical hit damage gem in this. And this new set is crazy. It says your Hex Angry Chicken, this is the two set, your Hex Angry Chicken explosion damage is increased by 200% and slain enemies trigger an additional explosion. So the way this basically works is that it kind of kind of turns you into an EP monk. Not exactly, but kind of. So if you hit an enemy and they explode and die, they're going to send out an explosion that hits all their enemies. Um, it's pretty awesome. If you get a lot of enemies close, it'll do a heavy, heavy amount of damage. I personally feel like they should increase the radius on it a little bit. Um, sometimes you miss or you're short, short of just hitting everything that you want. And then the additional effect is your Hex Angry Chicken lasts 15 seconds and movement speed as a chicken is increased by an additional 100%. So you can run like the craziest mofo in the world. Look at this. <laughs> and uh, it's just crazy. So obviously with the Soul Harvest you get more movement speed. You could even change your passive if you wanted to um, to the Fierce Loyalty and run a you know set of zombie dogs or something to get a little more movement speed. Whatever you want to do. But this is honestly fast enough in my opinion. The gems I'm using are a gem of Efficacious Toxin. I'm using Bane of the Trapped and I'm using Bane of the Powerful. For speed runs, honestly probably some of the best gems you can use. Um, if you are feeling like you're not durable or tanky enough or you're trying to get to the point where you're uh, a little stronger. You can obviously switch out your Kanai's Cubes effects. So right now I'm using the Furnace, I'm using the Quest Coddle, and I'm using the Convention of Elements. Um, you could honestly switch out, you know, use a Gold Wrap and use another effect, or use the Gold Wrap here. Uh, use Boon of the Hoarder Gem and, you know, use the Gold Pickup and use the Aver Span. There's all kinds of things you can do to be a little more tanky if you feel like um, you're not surviving well enough. On top of that, if you're using the Aver Span or the Boon of the Hoarder, Every time you pick up gold at rank 25, you get 25% more movement speed. So it could benefit you in some form of way with the speed running in this build. So enough talking. Let's get into a rift here, guys. This is Torment 8. And I'm going to basically show you what I do on Torment 8 rifts. I'm sure as you all know, I hear a goblin. So you basically just run in and boom, blow stuff up. Just like that. And it's awesome. And I really didn't have to do much. If you do have the time to proc the uh, restraint and focus with your spiders go for it but if you don't it's all good and primarily what I do is I just try to grab the death breath and just move on um, because honestly if you want crafting materials 
in my opinion, bounties are going to be better. And honestly, this build is amazing at doing bounty runs. It's insane. You can see right there where it kind of didn't really trigger and kill that last guy just quite. So, anyway, as you can see right here, once you hit one enemy, you see the multiple explosions there? It's pretty awesome. So anyway, uh, what I like to do is I basically like to run through, look for elites purposely, and just uh, blow them up, just like that, and then collect the death's breath. And usually because you killed so many enemies, grab those clothes real quick, you get to just basically continue on. I haven't even used my soul harvest set. I'm such a scrub. There we go, soul harvest set. Yeah, and the gem I'm using in my helm is actually cooldown. Um, you could use experience if you want, you could use life if you need it. But uh, I'm just going to cool down so I can simply uh, spam the chicken a little more and keep the damage ramp going. Boom, that is wicked right there. All right, so there I had the poison proc from the Convention of Elements. But if that's that's the thing you want to do, guys. If you can pay attention to that and try to use the chicken when the poison is up on the Convention of Elements, it'll make you do a lot more damage. Shielding is OP. Shielding's OP! I really wish they'd remove shielding. I'm super glad they nerfed Jailer, by the way. Freaking Jailer was a joke. Cut the damage in half, I believe, is what someone told me. Sorry if I'm wrong on some of this information. I've been way out of it <laughs> in this game for a while. But, like I said, super happy to be back. And uh, should have my stream up and running soon. I know you guys have missed me desperately. I know you guys look forward to watching my videos always. <laughs> Brainwash. No, um, really though. It's good to be back. Death's Breath, give me that. Continue on. Ooh, experience. I'll take it. Free experience. Totally take it. Boom. Sometimes I'll just blow stuff up just because it's awesome. And there's if there's enough stuff there, I'll blow it up and just keep my cooldowns going. Yeah. That's what's up. I don't need that guy. Just keep on running. Zombies! Uh, here we go. No? Not enough? Man, that was weak. That was weak. Try that again. Oh! Easy! That was actually really weak. <laughs> Sometimes I just suck at it. Hey, goblin. Look at that. Terrible damage. Terrible damage! That's right, this when you throw the locust. And bomb again. So like I said, this build is... Um, it's not bad. It's decent. And um, you can see what I was talking about, where the damage kind of caps out probably a T8, in my opinion. You probably don't want to go much higher than that. Grab them bad boys. The Convention of Elements is awesome in the Poison procs, and you throw Locusts as well. That That is just sick. Sometimes you can run the, um, the uh, what's the name of that? S that dang belt. You know what I'm talking about, the one where you pick up a clickable object and it gives you increased damage. That one. Such a scrub. Haven't played in so long. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Jailer. Jailer! Oh, this build sucks. Don't use it. Jailer wrecks you. <laughs> Don't use it! Just kidding. It's actually a lot of fun. But Jailer is kind of the enemy. Sometimes I like to just, um... Legendary. Sometimes I like to just, uh, dot everything up and just watch the damage. It's kind of fun. Check it out, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And when it spreads like crazy. And if you run fast enough with your chicken, it'll keep spreading. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that madness. Not bad. Eat my chicken. All right, here we go. Poison, poison. I'm gonna wait for the poison proc. I'm gonna be one, I'm gonna be one of those guys. Here we go. Yo! <laughs> so, as you can see, once you got the conventional elements up, it's pretty powerful. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this rift. I got all the things I need. Don't you do it, zombie. Oh yeah, you get a spider from that set that just runs around and just does damage. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Anyways, guys, so, I hope that I taught you something good today. And I'm sure you've probably seen this build before. If not, thanks for watching. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. If you liked, please comment, subscribe. If you have any questions and or suggestions, you know, always put them in the comments below. Anyways, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.